Hey, hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome back again. In previous video, we discussed about few questions. That is, uh, based on which header partners in billing document, invoice split will happens. And uh, the second question here is that sales order has been created, but still material requirements are not transferred to MRP. Or uh, after creating a sales order, there is no. Information updated in to MD zero four. So we discussed that. So whenever we have an issue in MD zero four that uh, orders or delivery missing in uh, MD zero four, then we have to verify few configs. That is, first config verification in V O V six. That is requirement assembly flag should be enabled. Then the transaction O V Z Z. Requirement class level, requirement transfer should be enabled. In case of OVZ2, availability check configuration uh, for sales order and delivery. We have different fields are there. Total sales for sales order uh, assignment and the total delivery requirements for delivery related config. So we have discussed till this point yesterday. Now let's get started. So those three are config changes which required to transfer the requirements to MRP. Therefore, we can see an entry in MD04. In this video, we are going to discuss about the transactional changes which might impact the updation of MD04. If fixed quantity date has been enabled, with scheduled confirmed quantity is zero. If this enabled and confirmed scheduled quantity is zero, then in this case no transfer of requirement will be carried out. Similar way, if this date and quantity fixed is enabled, and if order goes to credit block due to any reasons, orders to open items, dunning notice. Our credit limit has been exceeded. What else might be the reason? If order goes to credit block along with this uh, field has been enabled, then also requirement won't be transferred. The last one is that whenever this field is enabled along with the delivery block, in the delivery block config we have a field called confirmation block. So delivery block is there, and for that if this field is enabled. Along with this fixed date and quantity, then also requirement will be transferred and confirm quantity will become zero. The simple, the simple thing that we should keep in our mind is that whenever confirmed quantity is zero, then requirements won't be transferred to MRP. It's very simple. In other words, there are some other reasons like uh, if uh, item has been rejected. Then also requirements won't be transferred after PGI post goods issue is completed. Then the delivery document won't appear in MD04. Once order deleted, then as well we don't see the data in MD04. In some other reasons. There might be some custom changes has been carried out in the sales order, user exits in the include programs, MV45 AFZZ, MV45 AFZB, and in case of deliveries, we should verify MV50 AFZ1. And moreover, there is one field in VB, AP, and LIPS that is SUMBD. So this contains that OVZ2 config. In OVZ2 config, we are defining single records, total records per day, right? So this information will be stored into the VBAP and LIKP table level in the field SUMD. So these are the uh, checks that we need to verify. Whenever something is missing in MD zero four, thanks everyone. We will continue in the next video.